Light your strokes on fire with the Wilson Burn 100 V5. With this fifth generation, the Wilson Burn 100 V5 receives a new sizzling hot cosmetic, while the specs and technologies remain the same as the previous generation. A firm carbon fiber graphite in the layup combined with parallel drilling produces a crisp and powerful response on every shot. At a great value, the Burn 100 offers user-friendly specs, including a 16 by 19 string pattern, an 11.2 ounce strung weight, and a 320 swing weight. I have hit with several generations of the Burn 100 going all the way back to the original in about 2015, so I had a good idea what to expect with this update. And right off the bat from the baseline, I noticed that easy power, easy spin, and great depth I was getting on my ground strokes. I really liked that easy depth when I was attacking the ball as well as when I was on defense. I could get that ball nice and deep in the court and keep myself in a neutral position. I thought there was a very interesting blend of maneuverability and stability with this frame. While I had no issues getting the racket around my body, it wasn't like super speedy or super quick in my hands, but in turns I thought it offered great plow through and I got some good mass behind this which I noticed when I was hitting my slices. I really liked this racket on serves for me. I thought I could hit a variety of serves, whether it was a first serve that I was hitting flat, it was going deep in the service box, or I could hit some slice, but I also really noticed it on my second serve. I was getting good height and good net clearance, which translated to lots of second serves in and very few double faults. If I had one negative for me, I just wasn't a fan of the feel of this Burn 100. It is a little too stiff for me. And when I was up at net, I noticed the ball was coming in and out of the swing be uh, string bed really quickly. So I ended up just punching a lot of the balls deep instead of trying to do some touch or angled volleys. And also after the first hit, I was starting to notice some pain in my, my left wrist from hitting with this frame. So unfortunately it didn't quite gel with me there. Overall, I found this racket to be really easy to use and offer great power and spin and a great value. Although it's been a while since I've played with a burn racket, this version five picked up right where I thought it would be immediately noticed the easy power right from the baseline. There's also lots of spin on tap. Uh, I'm hit a, I hit a rather flat ball, so I don't add that top spin to all the time, but when I wanted to, I really could generate the, the RPMs pretty easily. I thought this racket offered some good maneuverability and uh, good stability. I didn't find it to be super whippy though, and so when I was driven, um, maybe I caught a little bit late, I was struggling a little bit to get that added extra little spin that I would need to get the ball to drop down inside the line. So I was struggling a little bit with control. Uh, that was all on me though, and it was really only noticeable when I was late on my shots. As I moved forward to net, I really appreciated the um, the response I was getting out of this racket. I'm not the strongest volleyer, so when I was a little bit late to the shot, I was really liking how the ball would just go over the net without me having to do too much. On serve, I really did like the power levels as well as the spin, and I actually preferred this racket on uh, serves over returns, which is not the normal for me. Uh, like Brittany, I actually prefer rackets that are in the uh, low 60s as far as stiffness, so I did find this to be play a bit firmly, although I did enjoy the performance aspects that come from that stiffness with that easy depth and easy power. That wraps up our thoughts out here in California. Next, we're gonna check in with our team in Georgia. How did this racket work out for you guys? Thanks, Tiffany. Now, I have never really uh, played with the Wilson Burn, even though this is the V5 version. Um, I've always been super curious of how this racket plays. Uh, and to my surprise, it gives you a lot of pop and it gives you a decent amount of spin. I felt like I couldn't really play a defensive uh, control given style with this frame. Um, definitely being an aggressive player with this racket definitely brings out all the benefits uh, this frame has to offer. Uh, it's a great value if you're looking for a power racket that's gonna push your opponents around the court and give you a decent amount of spin as well. Um, I did actually like the limited uh, technology on this frame. Uh, you do feel a lot of the vibration and impact from the ball, but that seems to be something that I truly uh, enjoy uh, in a tennis racket. Overall, if you're looking for a power frame that's gonna produce a good amount of spin at a great price, I'd give this Wilson Burn V5 a shot. 
So this is the first Wilson burn iteration I've gotten to hit, and as a 300 gram, 1619, 100 square inch racket, I thought I had a pretty good idea of what I was coming into, and the playtest was a really familiar one for me. Reminiscent of maybe an earlier gen pure drive or ultra, uh, the higher stiffness really lends itself to really one gleaming facet in this racket, and that is unbridled power. Hitting the racket from the baseline, uh, it's very solid off of both wings with its thicker beam and higher stiffness. As I said, uh, the launch off the racket is impeccable. Hitting with the burn, I found that my focus shifted more so to generating control and focusing on my direction with shots. It was easy to play an attacking game and I was surprised by how good it was as an all around kind of versatile frame. One area of the court I was surprised to find the burn actually excel in was up towards the net. Volleys were crisp, and while it doesn't necessarily feel like your standard box beam kind of racket, I was impressed with how much heat I could get on some volleys up in net. Serving was a similar bag as from the baseline in that I really kind of had to focus more so on generating spin and margin with the racket, but again, I was really pleased with as much power and launch I was getting with the frame. It's a racket that I would recommend for players of all skill levels as it's one that can grow with a player as they develop and mature in their game, and one that for our more advanced players can offer you that raw, unadulterated power. For this playtest, we strung up the Wilson 100 V5 with Luxalon ALU power at 53 pounds. For more information on this racket and many others, check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, and TennisOnly.com.